Hi guys, I'm back here in my, actually this is my living room, and today I'm going to look up Marche Funebre, which is um, not only a Chopin piece of beautiful music, but it is also a Belgian doom band that um, is celebrating their 10th anniversary right now, this year, so I just wanted to see what they're up to. I'm catching you in your rehearsals. Yes, indeed. Uh, half an hour from now, we will start our weekly rehearsals. So, and is that the night, Monday night? Monday night, yeah, every yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. There is, there is no, there is no, nothing that can change that. Actually, it, I, it makes Monday a bit worse. Yeah, existing. <laughs> Tuesday a bit less for some. <laughs> Every song is almost like a whole album or something because there's so many, you know, tempo, riff, melody switches in it. It's like a really long movie or something, you know, every, every track. So thank you. That's, but that's what we what we come up with. It's not something we do on purpose. We we come together. We write music. We uh, try new things. Try riffs. Throw it away. It's just the way we write. It, it's what. Comes. What comes out of us when the five of us join? Maybe, maybe getting together once a week is a really important part of it. Like just having the consistency to do that every week so that you can, you know, dig, no, I, dig deep. I read, I read a lot of the, uh, interviews with other bands because uh, I'm always curious what, what other musicians and how they work. And the only thing I, I, I read about the last couple of years is, yeah, we sent files to each other, which is probably great for, for, for a lot of people, but I, I would hate it, you know? Maybe for, for one track you know, on an album it could work for us, but not for an entire no, album. We need to come uh, together here and, and, and have a beer and think about stuff and... and, and just yeah well playing and playing a song only play. a song only gets a, a song after you have played it uh, until you you don't have to think about it anymore and then we record it about how you guys started 10 years ago. How did it all begin? There is the, the doommetal.com forum and uh, there was an ad by, I think, our guitar player uh, who wanted to do something in the vein of the old Peaceful Tree band, uh, Anathema, old Anathema, um, My Dying Bride, Paradise Lot. Yeah, it soon became clear that this the energy we got with Mashed and Heaven, uh, and also, you know, we got we immediately got uh, asked to play some gigs uh, abroad. Abroad, yeah. <laughs> the first gig we we ever asked was one in Breda, which is uh, a whole end from here, like like eighty kilometers. But it was in in Holland, so for all it of was them, a big deal. Yeah, it was a big deal. get to the 10 year mark is another story altogether like it's not because your start is like very promising and very um, um, energized that it's gonna stay that way so how did you guys um, sort of manage to to keep that that energy curve going well, I think that the main reason everyone's still involved is, is that it's just a lot of fun when you like doing what you do then uh, the 10 years makes itself. Yeah, but we really worked hard. We, we started organizing own festivals and mini tours, uh, gig exchanges, 
uh, uh, to make opportunities for ourselves, you know. No, but I think that's really interesting because I, I, I even notice it for myself and for Raw Statica. If you want to do this thing that you that you that you're passionate about, you have to create sort of, you have to create the space. Even you have to create the platform for it to. You have to wait until opportunities come to you, begging you to 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 play this or that show. You know, yeah. we're, we we just want to want to see too much. You know, we we are not happy with two shows a year. We we have these checklists of countries that that uh, that we want to see. Um, so yeah. If you could give advice to yourselves 10 years ago, what would it be? Ah, oh, that's a difficult question. Or in general, to young bands that are like, you know, going this route, the DIY route? Yeah, stay true to yourself. Don't wait for others to do things for you. Uh, and make sure that you enjoy the path and that you're yeah. not only going for the goal. The goal, yeah, well, we, 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 we made a lot of goals already, but um, the goal itself is, is not the purpose, you know? It's the, it's the, the road towards it. And if you believe in something, just go for it. Yeah, and, and keep the, make sure that the whole band is involved, having each member of the band uh, the, giving the, uh, the idea and, and uh, the feeling that he really contributes to the band. This is what makes a band, well, go goes strong for years, I think. I, I sometimes call it a marriage with five guys. Don't go too far with that thought, but, you know... <laughs> We have actually two things to celebrate, 10 years of, uh, of existence. And then there is the new EP, which is also a celebration of 10 years of Machine Ebre. It's, it's a milestone, you know, there's a lot of bands that don't make the 10 years mark. I think if we survive this year, you can call us again in 10, 10 years and we're still doing it probably, but... In wheelchairs. <laughs> Talk for yourself.